so much for staying with us this is y254 y in the morning breakfast show trust you are uh, enjoying the programming here time for career talk i'm speaking to one um, i'm hoping and i believe you have seen him on your screens uh, from uh, theatrics to uh, music artist he's one and only david aliwa uh cg if if i say more of him now na kama anaweza toka nje kidogo because uh he's someone who has made inroads in your uh, in your screens and so much is spoken of him but let me give him an opportunity to greet you all uh the age oh good morning uh merry christmas in advance <laughs> thank you yeah my name is aliwa david uh more people know me as aliwa a w l i w a h mm -hmm. i also call myself the palace boy I'm an artist, a uh, performing artist. I'm a gospel musician. I'm an actor, a producer, director. Wow. And of course, uh, mm. <laughs> CEO of a group in a to theatre arts ensemble which performs a uh, set book. So I'm also a theatre and education mm -hmm. practitioner. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, I I Aliu, I have to ask this uh, though in the interest <coughs> of time. How mm. did you find yourself here Kosababu? Okay, basically me na kujua kama msi tu uh, stay kwa sema jokes it kai vibaya oh my goodness mm. so uh, of course pia nimekuwa i've been uh, nimekuwa the prosecutor on view jama kamani mm -hmm. after the first cast uh, we were the, the new uh, mm -hmm bit of uh, young people ambao walikuwa wanafanya view jama kamani i uh, was the, the, the new influx of in plus you in there <laughs> <laughs> yeah view jama kamani i've acted in other other programs in different station mm -hmm. i was in a program called pray and pray on ntv mm -hmm. I've, I've, i'm also doing undercover which is in my shamaji kabdana movie na itwa women of obiero right now showing in in showmax mm -hmm. but the copy also my shamaji more but as your question was how did i come to this i was um, <coughs> I had this thing in me. Fun, funny enough kwa family yetu hatuna background ya kupata atakuwa msee alikuwa actor ama alikuwa musician. I don't I don't know that I've tried doing my own research but I've not seen. So way back in primary hapo ndipo nilikuwa inspired I was a bit of funny funny mm -hmm. I love music funny maybe uh, my, my 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 acting my funny bit it in drive to think musically uh mm -hmm katuko class so when we were rap some other guys would sing so me i thought of how do i sing and make people laugh mm -hmm. so ni kwa namba ngazi zilizopendo okay yeah, that's how i started mm -hmm. and za kwa maza wenyewe za wenyewe za za wenyewe of course nia sikia ngoma plan na imba wa sana check wa shaka sana wewe unafanya nini so i was i was doing that at least to to fit in but on a, in a different way mm -hmm. so in acting oh, it was in class 8 mm -hmm. in uh, kayole a school called jawabu primary mm -hmm. right now it's called jawabu primary mm -hmm. uh hapo nilianza kuna kuna siku moja kulikuwa na na parents day and uh, one of the actors was missing so there's a guy i uh, called uh, Gerald Okoth mm -hmm. uh, Gerald Okoth akasema hey, yule mzee yule jaribu kujua fani fani hivi <laughs> so kuna character hapa fanya and that was the beginning mm -hmm. but musically Oh ni a lot of uh, you know in Nairobi mass choir mm -hmm. where we used to sing for moi a lot yeah. <laughs> wow we are making noise and we are going to be moi kidogo moi kidogo mass choir mob sana mm -hmm. uh, that's how basically my art acting world started but i didn't really, really did know that nitakuwa nafanya kama career mm -hmm. which i've right, right now done for 20 good years mm -hmm. yes <laughs> exactly brings yeah. us to the point mm -hmm. career in the informal sector mm -hmm. uh, when you come to this industry you should have a self drive like you did mm -hmm. and of course you have a plan yes. but now the bigger question now would be mm -hmm. how did you underst understand the task ahead of you now that you have come into the industry Uh, I, I don't want to say you went to the school of Sijini yeah, Lucas or Mia Sijini ni ukamua sasa yeah. <laughs> now yeah, yeah. after going to the school of arts <laughs> <laughs> hardcore <laughs> yeah so uh, how did you get to choose the task ahead of you and having in mind this is the path I've chosen and now isn't so vitu nitakuwa nafanya so uh, of course as I've just told you kwanza hiyo mabaza primary then I got into secondary school high school and that's where now I was very very active very active because I'm a born again Christian mm -hmm. so I was in the CU I used to sing I don't I don't remember mm -hmm. any other Sunday any other Sunday I never sang every Sunday from from one paka from four nilikuwa niko na kawimbo na naimba hivyo so I didn't know what I was doing but unfortunately of course um, I lost my mom when I was almost in class 8 uh, mm -hmm. so 
nikimaliza shule my wish was to go to form to form 6 form 5 form 6 mm-hmm. so i really wanted to cross the borders niende hiyo nilikuwa nasikia nafikiria hawa si pole pole hawa sona nikawa napenda masomo hawa sona walikuwa na kama ni uko simi hata kama ukienda uni una feel uko poor so I went to, I I after school I tried thinking about what do I do with my situation na kila kitu not having a backup vizuri ya, mm. ya wazazi yeah. and so I went to Kenya National Theater but of course as you talked about I had a drive in, the, in me that I'll make it I had this thing in me mm-hmm. I always say that uh, things to do with talent mm-hmm. you must push yourself and and avail yourself as you avail hata yeah. kama ujui alimu avail yourself sita ujui mm. the only thing na opportunity azita kujia you have to no, go for no them window. so me i went mm-hmm. for an opportunity i saw an audition at the Kenya National Theater mm-hmm. uh, by then being done by heart strings by the, that we were going to heart strings ensemble right now the heart, heart strings entertainment limited so there i remember before uh, before that i, I went for a uh, ilikuwa ndio nini nyumba nyuma is it kumba 10 manini some a plot 10 to plot 10 which was a plot 10 you remember plot 10 ilikuwa kbc by then yeah so plot 10 nikaenda hapo eh lakini nikakuwa discard nikasikia ma story nini i remember mama kayai i met mama kayai then akaniita kando kanambia kijana unataka nini hapa kambi i want to become an actor and that's how i can encourage i didn't really go for the that audition niliyana nika kama 3 months then i came back for the audition nikapikiwa and from there now i said now building up because everything to, to me is that even a career whatever you want to do you have to build up for me i built an office Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Now I, I see you've come to an industry where you're spoiled for choices. Mm-hmm. Unaweza act, unaweza imba, unaweza dance uh, bado. Yeah. Have you tried it uh, tangwa ji stand up comedy? A stand up comedy not not really. I'm not not done stand up comedy but funny mm-hmm. I've been able to produce a lot of stand up com- com- comedians. One of them of course being Jalango is my product. Mm-hmm. I came from my group in 2004. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had uh, Sleepy David who tulimtoa all the way from Lodu High School. Uh, so akakuja kwa group yangu. Mm-hmm. Tuna Sami Kioko who is also in Churchill. Mm-hmm. And uh, Awinja mm-hmm. we are all those guys I've been able to uh, to to make some of these guys. With time when when we were starting mostly uh, of course our our style of comedy was more scripted mm-hmm. we were doing style of comedy but more scripted mm-hmm. when we were in heart strings and other groups phoenix evo kuna friends of theater and many other groups so from there i got into now a uh, nurturing mm-hmm. talent mm-hmm. so i think we been listening sana into nurturing than <laughs> now myself going out so <laughs> all right uh, actually hapo ndo nataka kukupeleka mm-hmm. you made a choice of kuka kwa art industry mm-hmm. Now knowing that Hindu kitita ko ina niletia unga mm-hmm. what paying the bills uh, <laughs> what, 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 the decisions you had to make ni nini kabisa kabisa uliona sasa i need this and this for me to be here and there e, thank you now the, one of the hardest bit about art talent mm-hmm. is making people around you believe in what you're doing you do the hardest bit because one i always say i shall say that you as an, an, an artist Mm-hmm. you love to make your mother your father mm-hmm. believe in you mm-hmm. your brothers believe in you be there are those guys who are called friends and schoolmates eh wali omoka wali omoka katoka wakaenda sasa hii wame umebu unafanya the bankers their nini mm-hmm. believe that whatever choice you made mm-hmm. maybe kama kuna degree na 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 na, na, na ulikuwa na ulikuwa na good grade whatever choice you made was the best mm-hmm. so making all those guys believe in you and maybe pale pale mbele maybe you have a spouse or something ama a girlfriend mm-hmm. or even a boyfriend if you are a lady mm-hmm. making these guys believe that we well, much kwa talent na ita make because the funny thing by the time we were starting mm-hmm. you get that uh, atu kuona any oh, we, it was not really not advanced mm-hmm. the way it is right now it was really not advanced so so it ilikuwa ina lazimisha lazima we make choices uje utaanza wapi mm-hmm. uta make nini mm-hmm. so that's why i said for me it we had to make up Uh, kuangalia hii feel niseme kama nitakuwa nafanya hii kitu then i have to make these guys believe so i made an office in it believing in it and working day and night to ensure mm-hmm. that uh, i can now stand somewhere and mwana mimi msimwambia watu i can wear a suit and still tell guys mm-hmm. i'm an actor mm-hmm. i'm a musician i'm an artist yes no, knowing that it pays your bill mm-hmm. ni kitu naweza acha ah uh, not really 
I'm not I, I don't I don't I'm not foreseeing anything to make me ni watch hata kama ni corona right now we've stayed for almost maybe 8 months without work but I still mm -hmm. in me deep in me I still want to do what I was doing paying my bills mm -hmm. art will pay my bills but there's some other satisfaction that is even beyond the bills beyond ni kama tu maybe some god kama god was a matisiki first the kingdom of god and the rest shall come maybe art the rest the that is of zanga speaking of which covid-19 has had an impact on almost every sector of the economy so true. and of course the ramifications of them we can see them mm -hmm. but now uh, knowing that your industry requires innovation and creativeness like every other minute that passes by nini mm -hmm. sustain throughout this because i've seen i know the most unfortunate thing is that some some guys are going to lose or, or are really lost hope mm. they are, they're not they're, lo they're losing hope they won't be doing this again mm. but uh to me it has been a good time for me because for i'm doing theater and education yeah, that, that i'm a theater and education practitioner i go to schools what what maybe people call set books i do set books a lot mm -hmm. and so it means that like now schools because of now this this pandemic those schools are closed and no no one can go there mm. despite that maybe right now we're having the form fours not everybody can go there so mm -hmm. uh to me me kwa time poor sana to to go back to the drawing board because i've been traveling since 2002 mm -hmm. going to school for all those years so to me it has been a time for me to reflect to look back and see what can i do and so Apart from that, of course, musically, I've been producing music. Come uh, took maybe two weeks ago. I've been I had a new a new song, mm -hmm. so I've also been doing a lot of um, uh, discovering the, the 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 bit of uh, social media, mm -hmm. the impact of uh, those. Mm. social or whatever uh, uh platforms right. so sometimes i go live on on facebook on twitter or on on, on, on instagram and those kind of things mm -hmm. yeah so that has, has helped me not to die in terms of uh, creativity now content now is it is it the same same uh, things that you have been doing like when you speak of going to schools i know mm. Mm. Set to books, like, yeah, yeah so say ni content gani gani umekam nayo ama ni ile ile but maybe with some spices uh, to me maybe i don't want to disclose a lot because we have <laughs> <laughs> we have competitors in our field yeah? but uh, yeah. but um we'll do we, we, i'll do the same same thing but i think i'll do it very differently but again of course like i've had enough time again to to go back to my other love that is that is uh music oh, okay. because to me i'm almost i wish i say i'm almost the only only artist who doubles up and do nafanya kila siku na double between music and 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 theater at the same time and music takes a lot of time theater because it's a crowd you cannot do only one person mm -hmm. uh, it takes a lot of time so it has also been a very good time for me to to think about my music like imagine mm -hmm. right now I'm on my fourth album and i didn't even know until i started i have almost mm -hmm. 16 songs in in one album mm -hmm. and another almost uh, five on the uh, next album so i've been really discovering myself discovering what i want to do and even in terms of acting what is the next thing is it just maybe theater and education uh, uh theater that is that maybe set book ama i want to do something else mm -hmm. so there's a lot of things that i've really uh come up with mm -hmm. creatively all right but to kikwa matua po kwa kwa covid 19 mm -hmm. there are threats mm -hmm. Like now, every one of you in the art industry, I mean, yeah, kwa YouTube, kwa social media. I know we sema some of the things that because <laughs> competitors in Wengi. Of course, yes, competitors have been there. Mm -hmm. But now, how are you managing the the competition right now? Considering like everyone now is using the same platform. Kama ni FB kuna wasi FB, YouTube wako, TikTok, I know. <laughs> so the thing is uh, what is making me different mm. is uh, I'm I'm really trying to 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 um to do, to be different because the, the thing about the whole thing about uh, about uh, social media is how different you are. Mm. Are you a flak wannabe? Are you a recommendy wannabe or what? <laughs> what are you bring in uh, mm. fresh? So to me, I think uh, mm. you have to be creative. You have to to come up with a different content and how you mm. bring it on. Mm. So to me, like musically, uh, the guys who know me, my my, my music is a bit different. My music is a bit different, mm. and that one is something I'm still I'm mm. still doing mm -hmm. differently and trying to come up with other mm -hmm. other good way of doing my music. 
All right, that's quite wonderful knowing that you're keeping up in the industry in as much as kuna competition, kuna threats, COVID-19 is here, social distancing to observe. Actually, Christmas to nakulia kwa nyumba. Me, I'm going to have time too. I don't know, but I'm hoping when the president speaks on Wednesday, he tells us something. Oh, Wednesday, I'm going to have a meeting. 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 I'm going to we, we love you people what you do outside there thank but now i want to uh, thank you so much uh karembo for joining us uh to know the history of career in the informal select sector uh like ali wa here and msewa wa kuimba kwa na vitu mingi anafanyanga as an artist you're also an artist yeah. lakini um maybe to get a snippet of uh vitu zenye unafanyanga or what you do uh maybe unaweza tupatia kai history kidogo tu kidogo tu kwa kuguzisha uh, how you found yourself where you are and exactly what do you do okay so karembo is a spoken word artist mm -hmm. um i started my journey way okay last year sikitambo mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's when i started doing doing poetry sorry mm -hmm. uh, ja, the journey imekuwa tu poa tumekuwa kitrai kuna changamoto mm -hmm. kwanza right now vile covid iko tujakuwa tukiperform kwa shows but we thank god we are alive and healthy mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> no we, uh, with a spoken word na jua singine mnapenda kuchapa watu mistari na with that how what feel uh, vibaya but <laughs> pia umewakanyaga <laughs> covid 19 amwendi kwa hall or something but now, like Aliwa has mentioned, he has been YouTube, he has been on places like this, he has been on TikTok, he has been on TikTok, he has been on TikTok. Niko! 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 He has been on different platforms like this, and how has it been for you? Okay, me, I've been using PR Instagram. Instagram is a very big platform platform kwa growing artist especially kama sisi to market yourself mm -hmm. so i've been using instagram kuna facebook and pia youtube mm -hmm. yeah now ulia ulia mwaji kuchukulia hii career ukaifanya sasa hapa ndio nitakuwa napata unga yangu okay maybe uh, alongside vitu zingine zinu nafanyanga ni aje ulia mwana nataka kufanya spoken word okay it's because this is my passion i love what i'm doing and mm -hmm. um Bible ni nasema that your talent it will make you dine with kings. Ukiwa na talent hakuna vile utakaa kwa nyumba and you have something you can do si must to employed. Mm -hmm. Mi ujaribu kuambia my youth wenye wako huko kwa mta. Mm -hmm. You can use your talent to get where you want to be. Ni watu wengi sana wametoa wazazi wao ghetto, ni watu wengi sana wame change lives zao through mm -hmm. through what they do, through their talent, ni passion. Mm -hmm. Kama uko na passion I connect to what do mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, passion and the words of David. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your your skills will make you done with uh, the kings, kings and queens. Yeah. All right, now um, Aliwa was engaging you on the make, making the choice. Now William Omenyambia, uh, you chose to be there and mm -hmm. you made your office. Mm -hmm. Now. Understanding the demographic of the people you address who kuinje, cause watu ni tofauti. Kuna msa kwa like, sa aliwa. Me, I think aliwa na kuangapo a kimba kuliko a kiact. Ama aliwa na kuangapo a kiact kuliko kuimba. This is something that you choose you want to do. How do you deal with critics? Okay, unajua the funniest thing to me. I've, of course, I've done this. I told I've done this for 20 years now, and I'm mm on a -hmm. too from the start of kina. Churchill to everybody because we have anafanya kitabu to Skunjema and those kind of things. I've been able to work on guys like Jalango. I've talked about uh, we have Kina Sleepy, we have Kina Silas, Wayne Maria, and many, many other guys mm -hmm. uh, outside there. Kina Asan Mugandu is a broadcaster, Nilim Fundisha Kunarit. So um, I always tell my actors or the guys I meet that uh, talent is the naked you. Mm -hmm. And you have to believe in it first, and then you bring it out. Now, guys will believe how, how well the confidence about what you are doing. Mm -hmm. So despite the critic, this is me. It's just like now we are three of us here. Karembo here. <laughs> Karembo. <laughs> the name of Karembo. <laughs> so Karembo here is Karembo. Mm -hmm. No, no, she's, she's talking, and you have to just to buy her, or buy me, or buy you. Mm -hmm. The, 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 the audience has choices to make at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Me, I have my art and I have something I've, I've decided to do. Like I, the way I'm, I'm saying, I call it an office. That's why I've been able to do this. I tell guys, I've done purely mm -hmm. theater for 20 good years. 
I've done music for now 18 years. I've never changed career. I don't think of changing it. But what now makes me move is because I made an office and guys know me like this. So guys have choices. Critics will be there. To me, I don't... I don't really have a problem with critics. They are good. They sometimes make you think. Mm -hmm. I don't dismiss them. They make they sh they sharpen me. But kuna place in here and is a kwame kupiga na maybe we won't take it. Because sometimes you have to force it. Even you attack a mbaka ikwe ikwe ivi. Maybe sometimes you may not understand it now, but maybe tomorrow. Uta nila oh kumbi um jinga liko nanza ivi like kumbi kule mbele. This is what I want to So to me, critics are good for me. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I'm aliwa. Aliwa the palace boy. Mm -hmm. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Karembo, most of the employed persons in your Kokomo office, many times what when you are going to go to the bosses or a colleague, so maybe Wakikua Wengi Sana ni Watutano. But you, as, a, as an influencer out there, it's a career you chose, Uno Ngelesha Mamiluni Awatu. How what work you have to pick and like I'm saying, how 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 does that impact you on coming up with the ideas? Is on a mystery or maybe we say a mystery flani, or maybe we are a politician. I'm say to how do you deal with those uh, critics and the problems that come along with that? Okay, I like quoting the Bible. Bible pen as a that if people what work you could be a mawe, you can use the same. Is on my own as a tumia kujenga, what do I call it? Yeah. So, okay, in as much as kwezo critics kuna kwanga na ukweli ziko, mm -hmm. so unez, at the end of the day when do takachini wone iki tu, do I really have to take it at hard? Like in unajua Kenyans, kwanza ma fans, wakona yo habit ya, they want, they'll take you up, mm -hmm. but once you're up, they will pull you down. Mm -hmm. So, ina depend na pia vile utazi take. Ikona impact, ikona impact gani kwa life yako. Mm -hmm. If the Kenyans kwanza, the fans kwanza wamezoea like ku, just saying negative things about artists. Mm -hmm. See, actually to share <laughs> zoea. Watu tu waonge wa seme ni zoea, but you, you try to protect yourself like isifike kwa heart. Mm, yeah. Na penda sana vile karebo wa nangia kwenye Bible. Unajua, I also believe in a very harsh way. Okay? Mm -hmm. But since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violent, and the violent shall take it by force. Mm -hmm. And so you have to be violent in you. You have to be violent as an artist. Mm -hmm. Violent inside you. Siko ubaya, siko ubaya, but at the end of the day, of course, mm -hmm. the good thing, you're born again. Yeah. Hallelujah, glory. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> so that, mungu ni omipoto zola. And as long as you have God with you, God mm -hmm. is guiding you. Ah. God has guided, like, but your answers, like, but your way, mm -hmm. how to maneuver out of all this, mm -hmm. and you move on. All right. Now, the next thing I want to engage you, Aliwa, is mm -hmm. understanding the market or the niche. Yeah. Wuli come up, ukajua nataka kuakta lafu kwa na isafari sisi tobuwa peke yangu. Mm -hmm. You came up with a group. Mm -hmm. uh, tell <coughs> me, how has it been for you? And what kind of an impact have you been uh, been able to push out here? And what are you even doing right now, even during this COVID-19 pandemic? Okay, okay. so in um, way back in 2002, I, 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 I came to theater a bit earlier, Kidogo. So in 2002, uh, I... I got to meet people like you know, Toyo, Will Broder, and some other guys. Mm -hmm. They were forming a group. By then, me, I used to do what they used to call straight plays. Straight plays now are only meant for public. Mm -hmm. So by then, we used to have Phoenix under uh, James Falkland. We had Kinasami Mwangi, Victor Bell, who is in church right now, Ken Waudo, doing art out there, and Sami Mwangi from Hartstring. So mm -hmm. I was there, and then these guys, Kina, Will Broder and Toyo, called me. They called me for, to join them. Mm -hmm. to start a, a theater group that is doing now what we call theater in education that is now set books so i joined them and after come one year the group took a break so kutoka hapo eh had very good guys who are very sharp or doing our thing well mm -hmm. so 2004 then kafom Theatrix Arts Ensemble, with my first cast being kila jalango and some other guys who are in that first first team mm -hmm. so one uh, it, it's a very technical point, but now understanding where do I want to do? Mm -hmm. Because to me, again, the business perspective of it has to be there. When you're talking about paying your bills, yeah, you, uh, you have to linger power. God has to show you <laughs> now. This is what you're doing. I'm also doing music at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, guys will say, "Oh, uh, see poor, 
do lakini god also kama paul tu mwenyewe pia alisema on that pulpit mm. i will eat okay that pulpit i eat so mm. i had to work on on something and i saw i was so i f- nearly fit in sana kwa story na education i became almost like a teacher kuniona kana chambua vitabu tutanga mu mwalimu ni mwalimu even right now that's what has given me a chance to also be a, a host I'm a, I'm a tv host mm. at kicd i'm 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 i'm, and I'm, I'm doing na host walimu kwa kwa hiyo program ya edu channel mm. so nikaona part ya education ilikuwa ni fit mm. but more than that it was my deep desire now to nurture young people that's why like our mission statement ya theatres ni empowering the youth showcasing role models and championing for a morally upright future generation so because of my background i want first of all to empower young people to tell them the truth about art how they should go about it it's not about at artists with maybe with by time tukona ingia walikuwa wana kama artists ni wasomechanganikiwa hawajawahi soma ni watu immoral that is not art at the end of the day because kwa mm-hmm. watu wakubwa sana wamekuwa wamekuwa artist anyangnyongo was an artist professor nyangnyongo kivuda kibwana was an artist in the 70s we have kina imbuga francis imbuga shakespeare ruganda and those kind of people mm-hmm. so one empowering them was to show them what they supposed to do to like kama ile unataka ni kocha kwa kiswahili lazima ni ile ile kwa sisimu ama nini and the word i'm looking for basically party so that that was one and then now uh, showcasing role models like right, right now i'm very happy after those very many years mm-hmm. i now have my guys outside there i can see i can watch you know jalamu ni kugwa wow eslipia kwa pale oh sabikioko oh tina silas kwa hapo yani jaboke and very many other guys i'm seeing them i can see uh asal mugambi in citizen na kumka nikimpeleka aboreta mkumwambia narrate na right nafanya hivi mimi nataka utambaji unafanya hivi i will tell him to go and watch some guys in cnn and so to me that was my my field mm-hmm. and so ni kaza kuipasu so what makes me more is when i see those guys grow and become mm-hmm. see their vision b wow yes. uh, that's quite commendable mm-hmm. now karembo ha- other than uh, the the spoken word or what you're doing as an artist nini nyingine ume ume explore as a, as a person to like uh, in as much as nimesimamisha career yangu hivi ndivyo nataka maybe i have something else that i am doing or what are you doing to make your choice uh, of becoming a spoken word person or an artist rather to remain uh, still strong Okay apart from being an artist I'm also a business lady mm-hmm. uh, also apart from being a business lady I'm also the founder of Bleeding Scars event mm-hmm. Bleeding Scars event is an event that happens after each and every two months in Kayole mm-hmm. so when I started poetry nilipata watu walikuwa okay I did my first piece people received it well mm-hmm. so I nearly received calls who are talking and I want you to mentor me and stuff so I was like me ndo nimeingia kwa hii game cg much about it but what can I do nika na I have the chance I have the ability to as a host show mm-hmm. may invite wale when you wanasema they want to try the industry mm-hmm. and also be an invite when you wamekuwa kwa industry for long to one tunaweza saidia na aje because I'm telling you ghetto uko kayole we have talents we Dandora we have talents Kariobangi everywhere mm-hmm. place zote zinaitwa ghetto ziko na very mad talent mm-hmm. but because umeskimi to ghetto you just umeanza kuitake miss <laughs> you umeanza kuitake aje mm-hmm. there is crime mm-hmm. nitaibiwa uko so i wanted to give the youths a mm-hmm. chance to showcase their talent and what they do mm-hmm. so i've been doing it Uh, for one year now so on 19th of December takwa tuna hold our sixth edition we'll mm-hmm. be having DJ Shit in the house big up DJ Shit mm-hmm. we'll be having coconut we'll be having the pluto we'll be having kinakatelo wale watu wote wametoka kayole and they are somewhere mm-hmm. New takakuwa invite wakuje waonge na wale wenye wenye tunaanza industry wa waonyeshe like there is nothing impossible mm-hmm. nani okay someone alisema your dreams are valid was it lupita right yeah, okay. your dreams are valid whether una ishi kwa hiyo nyumba ina leak kukinyesha you one day you unaweza own a mansion unaweza mm-hmm. own a very successful business mm-hmm. it doesn't matter where you're coming from mm-hmm. yeah reminds me of my days in kibra <laughs> um hmm. w- 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 what do you look forward to uh, as maybe as we come up 
to, to an end of this discussion. Uh, in the in the long run, ukona plan gani now that uh, umeskia dreams aliwa apa na venyali weza kuinua wase as in aliwa me me omok. Ukona plans gani na wase wako kwa bleeds? Metaji? Bleeding scars. Yeah, bleeding scars, sorry. Okay, pia mi dream yangu ni kona wase ni menacha pia wa me omoka vilo mesema. Mm -hmm. I want to nataka tombs like few years to come i want to see not only me but wale watu bado wako kwa ghetto tumechangia narrative ya tumechangia narrative ya ghetto si place poa tunaweza make it a place tunaweza make it a place and yeah hata mtu anaweza kuja na atembe na vitu na feel ako comfortable mm -hmm. so few years few years uh, ama few years to come nataka mtu uingie kayole na ufeel uko safe uingie dandora na ufeel uko safe mm -hmm. yeah all right sijui kama nikikwambia tutachapia mr mbili utakuwa nazo <laughs> Aliwa, as, as, we, as, we, as we finish, mm -hmm. uh, there's something called uh, SWOT analysis, which is the strength, weaknesses, uh, opportunities, and threats. Mm -hmm. When you come up to this industry, when someone makes a choice, mm -hmm. uh, there are so many things that comes with it, uh, from the critics, from the dealing with producers, directors, and what have you. Because you can imagine this industry is a fan, but there are stresses. How do you manage that? Okay. Uh, at the end of the day, as I said, Emma, we just just talking about that. Mm -hmm. First of all, come and you can encourage him to to get in. The most important thing in the foundation, yako. What is your foundation, really, Anzaji? All these guys are mongi about kina DJ Shiti nani yamba. But if you don't know what you are, will alianza? Walianzaji. You see their projection. Lazima when a foundation plan you may nayo, and then we believe in that foundation. But a good foundation, a book, where a place when is a when is a grow. You have to look at say our group theatric arts ensemble will be having an audition. We've done a performance, but a public performance to on third of October. We tried using the COVID uh, uh, rules and uh, now it, it can succeed by the way. We had a, a, a crowd of almost three hundred and fifty guys coming and took a fun because my Okumbi is possible. So guys are being being creative. But now with the things that are, we have um, hurdles that we face, especially Kamasasi and Botuna Tunafanya, we believe that Setbook is almost the only academy in this country. That in a fundisha to theater, akuna very many guys omeanza from setbook. Ita chipukizi, ita nani, ita any other person to me and the apple. They once upon a time uh, mm -hmm. came came to that place wa anze. So one of the things, of course, na pata kuna hurdles kama these finances issues. Mm -hmm. Sometimes kama sai kuna a change. To me that I've been there, I will tell you the kind of guys we have right now. Uh, we are calling them the millennials. Eh? Mm. Uh, oh, so <laughs> sana, kubwa sana ni patience. They're not patient. They want kila kitu microwave. Mm. Nita, nita, nita omoka leo. Nita pata, yu, leo. Mm. I'm talking about 20 years and I'm still moving on. But I'm still moving on. Mm. So one thing, I want to encourage you to say that you want to go. I'm like me, I'm very patient. I'm very, I'm very, so you must be patient, first of all. Uh, two, you must be very creative, innovative in different ways. How you, are you going to get this money? How are you going to use this money? Uh, my, my good friend here is talking about, is of the Afanya Kama, is of the artist. I a lot of things. Sometimes you have to talk to people. Yeah. So you have to be courageous at the end of the day. And more than anything, Musama, put God first in Kila Kitu. When you put God first and you're a prayerful person and you be available, things will open up for you. All right, here in a mess and come a conclusion, Quaco, and apparently we are out of time. What are lines? Okay, I forgot to, to say, okay, bleeding scars, it are going to happen. Kayole Social Hall from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Now, ticket ni only a hundred bob. Is it online? What are you doing? Unazani DM at Feli underscore Karembo on Instagram to get your ticket. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nasikuni 19. <laughs> yeah, let me just say that here. In audition, we have auditions on uh, on uh, on Friday. That is, will be on 11th mm -hmm. at the Kenya National Theatre. Mm -hmm. Come on, you have talent, you have talent, you have deadly. You are the next big thing in this town. Come. Mm -hmm. It's for free. Just observe all the COVID protocols and all the best. You can get us on, on our social media platform, mm -hmm. Aliwa, A-L-I-W-A-H, mm -hmm. Instagram, Twitter, and of course Facebook. 
and TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, lady and gentlemen. Stage name ni Aliwa Nakarembo. Thank you so much for coming and speaking to our young people out there. Kama kuna talent, kuna, kuna auditions ina kam, kuna event itakuwa kayole. 19th. 19th of December. 19th of December. Na entry ni so moja tu wezi kwasa so moja. Kayole. All right. Thank you so much for staying with us and uh, keeping in terms of what we've been discussing here. I trust you have learned something. I'll be seeing you again later in the evening. My name is Dereva Hilary. Good morning.